Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny Gayton. Back in the mid 80s, I became convinced that nutritionals were helpful for the eyes. So we've actually been recommending nutritional products here for that whole period of time. One of the problems though, is that we could not quantitate what people were doing nutritionally. In other words, when we put a person on vitamins, number one, we weren't ever exactly sure if they were taking them. Number two, when they were taking them, we weren't sure how well they were being absorbed. Now, because of this new scanning device, we're able to tell what a person's antioxidant levels are in their tissues. Let's just take a quick look at the eye. If you look, the first thing that light hits when it goes through the eye is the tear film. Believe it or not, the tear film has actually hundreds of ingredients in it, as well as having a protein, water, and oil layer. It's very important for you to have good nutritional status, especially with your omega-3s, to be able to have a proper tear film. Then as it goes through into the eye, it goes through the cornea and into the lens. Well also, if the tear film is in good shape, that will typically imply that the ocular surface is going to be in good shape. If you have good antioxidant levels in your blood, it's going to slow down the development of a cataract, which is what occurs here. Glaucoma is a condition where so much fluid is being made in the ciliary epithelium, this tissue here, that it, and it's so much more is being made than is actually leaving the eye, that it increases the pressure and interferes with the circulation to the back of the eye. It stands to reason that anything that's going to improve someone's circulation and improve their nutritional status is going to delay visual field loss or delay optic nerve damage from glaucoma. So you have the advantages to the tear film, you have the advantages to the lens, you have advantages in glaucoma, and let's go to the really important part of the eye, back in the back of the eye, the retina and the optic nerve. Honestly, one of the number one causes of blindness especially in seniors, is degenerative disease that affects this retina. Macular degeneration can be found in 80% of white people age 80 and above. That's a lot of folks. And it's been shown that if you take nutritionals and you have a high level of antioxidants in your tissues, you're going to delay the onset and delay the progression of macular degeneration. Also the optic nerve itself. The optic nerve is dependent on a good circulatory status. Consequently, if you have a high level of antioxidants in your blood and you're in good physical shape, it stands to reason that your optic nerve is going to be in better shape. I commonly tell people that of the five most common causes of blindness, smoking makes all five of them more likely to happen. Glaucoma, macular degeneration, cataract, ischemic optic nerve disease, and diabetic retinopathy. But you know what's interesting? It's just like smoking makes all five of them worse, improving your nutritional status, improving your circulatory status is going to make all five of them better. And what's more, you get the benefits of improved cardiovascular status, meaning you're less likely to have a heart attack, you slow down the aging process, and it's also been shown if you have a high number of antioxidants in your tissues, you're less likely to, be, to develop cancer. So I am a strong believer in taking nutritional supplements, eating your fruits and vegetables, and getting those antioxidant levels in your tissues up to a good, high, healthy level. Thank you for your attention. What is, um, what's going on with the scanner is it's firing a basically a laser into your hand at 473 nanometers and it's a blue light and that's the wavelength that it's in. When it hits a the photon of light when it hits a carotenoid is going to basically bounce back at 510 nanometers and turn green. So over 90 seconds the biophotonic scanner is counting the number of hits that come back in and then it's computing them based on the um, 
scientific rationale and data that's part of the program to determine what your levels are and the scale is zero to 100,000. Your goal is to be above 40,000 at a minimum, preferably in the blue range, which is 50 to 100,000. And most uh, people that are doing the right things, eating properly, five to 10 uh, fist size servings of the right fruits and vegetables a day that are high in antioxidants. They're not boiling the antioxidants out of the fruits and vegetables before they eat them, are going to score fairly well. Uh, if they're not, then supplements can be an option for them. If they score really low, and the most Americans, Dr. Gaten, are scoring in the 10 to 29,000 range, which is, is really poor, and that's a snapshot of America. So what we're able to do is do things like you're doing and score 53,000 because of the fact that you recognize the value of antioxidants and, and you're properly uh, dieting. So that's the, way, that's the way the machine works, essentially. The business model is, is essentially, um, it is a network marketing company, direct marketing company. Physicians and pharmacists are using this equipment to really bring value to their patients. And essentially the way the business works is the patient shows up, um, you're obviously counseling them on macular degeneration, cardiovascular disease and everything else that um, poor antioxidant levels can contribute to. You want to charge them $20, you don't have to. In fact, Pharmanex and New Skin, they don't put a limit on charge. You can charge them nothing, you can charge them $100. Most physicians have found $20 to be a very practical amount to charge. And the reason for that is this is a curiosity seeker. And you can have a staff member stand there all day and scan everybody because they're curious. What really makes a difference is the, the folks that are willing to take on the financial cost to have the scan just like you would an MRI or any other scan that you would have done because they're apt to want to do something about it. If they're willing to invest to find out what their current nutritional levels are, then they're more likely to go ahead and want to take some action to do something in the future. Uh, what Pharmanex will do for you after you've done that initial scan and they go on a product, Pharmanex is going to pay you an extra $10 when you have your own scanner and it's recognizing that I scanned this person, they went on one of our Pharmanex guaranteed products, they come back two months later, you rescan them, they obviously uh, would see a higher score at that point if everything's working right, they're being compliant. Pharmanex is going to send you $10. Every time after that that the patient comes in and rescans, they're also going to give you $5 for that rescan. So it's a perpetual process of you're not wasting your time in terms of um, doing that. You, you have to have the scan cards on board and they're about a dollar a piece. So understand that every time you scan somebody, the opportunity cost of your time in the card uh, is about a dollar plus. On the other end of it, you get um, Going in, as we discussed, as an executive distributor, you're going to get a percentage of all of your sales. The key is to get into the $3,000 a month range because $3,000 and higher puts you into higher uh, percentage uh, coming back to you, and it generally goes over 20%. It depends on uh, how many folks you have in your, your downline, so to speak. You get kickers. So the real um, revenue flow starts at about 3000 a month in volume, which isn't hard to do because every month it, it's, a, it's an additive factor. When you start somebody on an automatic delivery rewards program, an ADR, it's continuous and they're generally not going to stop it. So if you do 3000 this month and add 10 more patients next month, you're probably going to be at 5000 and so forth and so on. So the kicker is to get started and to get folks enrolled um, with the ADR, the product is mailed direct to their home, so they're not coming in here every month to pick it up, but they would be coming for their appointments and their rescans to see how they're doing. Um, as you build a network beneath you of folks, and like yourself, that you wanted to do this business, you would enroll under Dr. Gayton, and he would be your mentor and show you essentially how, what I'm doing with y'all. How does the equipment work? Um, how do you open up the market? Willie hit the nail on the head up in Atlanta too. They are getting um, uh, workout centers enrolled as distributors and they are they're selling a lot of stuff. The thing that we have as an opportunity here in middle Georgia is we're, we're on the cutting edge here. Even though New Skin has been around for over 20 years and this, this scanner has been on the market for 
quite a while, for about six years, and it's got a U.S. patent on it, which you all know, to get a U.S. patent, you have to prove the viability of what the machine does and what it is. Again, no different than a bone scan or an MRI or any other device. If it, if it weren't doing what it was designed to do and proven to do from a scientific perspective, then you wouldn't have the ability to do what we're doing today, scanning people and getting a really good reading on what their current nutritional level is. So some physicians have called this the ultimate nutritional lie detector test. It either tells you that what you're doing is working or it tells you what you're doing isn't working. Uh, from the perspective of getting someone started under you, as you build that network beneath you, you start drawing commissions off everything they're doing too because there's your mentorship role. Uh, my encouragement to your practice is um, there are tons of ophthalmologists. You do national speaking. This is certainly something as you influence other physicians to take on the, the role of being more engaged uh, with their patient's total nutrition capability and the way it impacts macular degeneration and others. You've got an opportunity to create an, an unbelievable network beneath you. Uh, from the standpoint of the staff reward, um, medical practices up in Atlanta, and that's why I was headed a minute ago, we're, we're on the cutting edge here, no other medical practices south of uh, Atlanta have this scanner presently in their practice, so real opportunity there, but it seems to be concentrated in big metropolitan areas, so that's why I, when I looked at the business opportunity, it struck me as, as huge because doctors and patients are every day being asked two questions. What can I do to improve my quality of life? How can I keep my eyesight? Secondly, what should I be taking supplements? I hear about them all the time and historically before the scanner came available, you had no way of saying what their present antioxidant levels were, what their skin concentration of carotenoids were, and what they should be doing. With this device, you can now make an informed and educated recommendation as a physician to do that. The staff perspective, a lot of physicians are charging the $20 and they are sharing that, that money with their staff that's actually doing the scan. So they may give them $5 a scan, if you will, or and put 15 back into the practice. That's a, certainly a business decision that you all have to make. But. Uh, the win-win model where everybody involved understands the science, they understand the, the financial reward benefit, and they get the fact that they're helping their patients is going to encourage them to engage them in conversation and, and encourage the scan. Um, from the patient walking into the waiting room, having a video available to them is certainly something you can do. And also, a lot of the practices up in Atlanta that I've seen are handing out a fact sheet to the patients to say, we have this scanner available, are you interested? And that's about it. <laughs>